What is this thing? Is it a motorcycle? Is it a Segway? It's actually called a rhino. Have you ever seen anything like this? No, well, YouTube. <laughs> things on YouTube. How exactly do you define the rhino? It's an electric unicycle? We're still struggling with how you define it. Chris Hoffman is the former auto engineer behind the rhino. He says it's something between an electric bike and an electric motorcycle. The rhino accelerates when the driver leans forward and slows when they lean back. It stays upright thanks to software that knows where the center of the earth is, keeping the bike and the rider balanced. This actually relies on your own sense of balance and gives you just enough stability so you can pilot the bike. With its fat Pirelli-esque wheel and Ducati red detailing, the Rhino is track and road ready, in appearance only. How fast does this baby go? You know, we're going to keep it at 10 miles an hour because we want to be, you know, pedestrian friendly. Hoffman got the idea for the Rhino seven years ago when his daughter asked him to build a one-wheeled motorcycle she saw in a video game. But the Rhino almost didn't make it out of their garage. He was all personally funded at the beginning. Yeah, I was the out-of-pocket money guy. I ended up selling my house and moving into a little 14 by 14 room, and I was down on my last thousand dollars before we got our first investor. A $1.3 million injection allowed Hoffman to start production. The first Rhinos will start shipping to customers later this year and cost $5,300 each. At that price, it will take 3.5 years for the company to be profitable. I'm feeling great! Is the Rhino just a novelty item? We don't know. I mean, that's what we're trying to find out this year.